Welcome to Mikon's hardware. Alan Wake 2 is yet another next-gen game with very high-quality graphics. And that means that I have to test it with my Xeon PC, where I have E5 2697v3 paired with RX 6700XT. In the PC, I also have 32 gigs of RAM DDR4 2133CL12. I also have Turbo Boost resizable bar and Radeon anti lag enabled, while Xeon Hyper Threading was disabled, so the CPU is working with 14 threads and 14 cores. For this benchmark, I'm using one of the most demanding sections. I run in the forest next to the lake, right after you have your first possibility to manually save your progress. So in this configuration at 1080p with a high-quality preset, we have only 38-48 FPS, so 38 FPS minimum, 48 FPS on average. Judging by the GPU and CPU load, we can see that the Radeon RX 6700 XT is the bottleneck. And even if I switch to the medium graphic preset at 1080p, the performance is just a bit better – 40-52 FPS. Yet again, RX 6700 XT is at the bottleneck. 1080p low graphical presets yields a slightly better performance – 48-61 FPS, but overall the visual quality is significantly worse compared to the medium and high quality preset. I have also tested enabling FSR in the quality mode, so the game is rendered at 720p and then upscaled to 1080p. So with FSR enabled with high quality preset we have 36-66 FPS. It's worth mentioning that FSR brings some extra load to the CPU and that's why we can see that the minimal FPS is tanking down. Reducing the graphical quality from high to medium gives us only a few extra FPS. With FSR and medium quality preset, I have got 3868 FPS. As you can see, high and medium graphical presets deliver almost identical performance with or without FSR, and only with the lowest possible graphical preset we can see noticeable bump in the performance, but the visuals are significantly worse. It's also important to check the CPU-GPU load. Even at 720p with medium graphical preset, we are still GPU-limited. RX 6700 XT is not strong enough for this game. It's only when I go to the low graphical preset with FSR enabled so the game is rendered at 720p, we start to see some sort of a CPU bottleneck. In this configuration, I have got 48 minimal FPS and 80 average FPS, but the GPU load sometimes goes lower than 90% and that means that Xeon E5 2697v3 is not able to provide enough load to RX 6700 XT. Thus, it is safe to conclude that in this, uh, one of the most demanding game sections, Xeon E5 2697v3 is capable of at least 80 FPS on average. In general, I'm playing at 1080p with medium graphical preset and with FSR disabled. In this case, in less demanding sections, you can expect 60-70 FPS, and that's pretty good for such a budget combo like Xeon E5 2697v3 and Radeon RX 6700 XT.